last time before uh, recent times that you guys played this room together? In the 80s. I think one time you you were the bass player for Swing Shift here. Do you remember that? I remember doing some gigs with you guys. And yeah. It might so have I, been... I think that might have been the time that we would have played together here. Because when, when this club was open, we had different bands. Right. He had Shenandoah and I had Swing Shift. But uh, I remember one night the power went out. <laughs> it was a big snowstorm, but there was a some kind of crowd here. We just jammed and partied all night. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we played it. The floor moving up and down. Yeah, I used, to, I used to watch this loft area where there's joists are. You can see the floor moving up and down like three or four inches. Mm -hmm. Then you because knew the that joint would, was rocking. That place would be, that that space up there would be full of people too. Egremont was the hot spot of the world. Oh yeah, that's days. right. There was a time where there were no live music venues in Great Barrington. Never, never. But we never played place, Barrington. There was the old egg. The Stone Pub. The Stone Pub or Bojangles or Bo whatever Jangles, it was called. Yeah. Catamount Ranch House. There was the Catamount Base Lodge. There was the Egremont Inn. I mean, this was the happening. You're following a great tradition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait for you to come home. I just have to do it. <laughs> I mean, uh, thank you very much. When I first moved here, it was it was a couple of years before I had a gig, but I was playing my guitar every day and singing and just thinking about it and you know just it's I can't not do it. <laughs> Run here, baby. Sit down on your daddy's knee. Why don't you? Run here, baby, sit down on your daddy's knee. Got a couple of things that never been troubling me. People in the audience sometimes say that too. They'll come up and say, you know, either I had, you know, whatever was going on during the day or said, I'm so glad to be here because there's this, there's this feeling of interaction and exchange of energy and letting go. Yeah, I mean, it's so. Again, therapeutic, it's healthy, it's just so good for you to be able to get out and that sense of community that you were talking about. We do keep it pretty local. Every place we play, there are people that have been coming to hear us for 30 years that are still coming out to hear us. To me, what's always blowing my mind about the way Steve plays is the way he develops a solo and just brings it from point A to point B and brings everybody in the band and the house along with him and get to that point where it's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, you know, he's been able to do that since the very first time I saw him. It's, it comes natural to him and I've been trying to do it ever since. <laughs> There's a soulfulness that comes from his toes. <laughs> directly oh, from wow. the toes. Yeah, right from, directly from the toes and comes right up through the top of his head. I mean, that's what's, it. what's cool, I think, with Bobby and I is that we have pretty different approaches. Having both of them in the same band, two singers and guitar players in the same band that went about it in the same way, they would get redundant. But there's very, I think there's very little redundancy do you guys have a secret handshake? <laughs> we used, to, used have, to have one with Ram. <laughs> right. It was something like you do this, and then you do this, and then you do this, and then you do <laughs> something along those lines. And obviously, we haven't, <laughs> we haven't done, done it in a while. <laughs>